Last time on Total Drama Revenge of the Island, the players went on a smash and grab graffiti raid. Lightning and Joe's team fell apart after she used him as shark bait. Scott blackmailed Mike by threatening to tell Zoe about his multiple personalities. Finally, Mike fought back, gave his personalities the beatdown, and got voted off the island. Too bad, so sad. Missed a spot. We're down to our final four competitors, and you'll never guess who's next to ride the Hurl of Shame. <laughs> Told ya. What? Catapults are expensive. I need to get my money's worth, but someone else will be flung before the day is over. Find out who, right here on Total Drama Revenge of the Island. Mom and Dad, I'm doing fine. You guys are on my mind. You asked me what I wanted to be, and now I think the answer is plain to see. I want to be famous. I want to live close to the sun. Or pack your bags, because I've already won. Everything to prove, nothing in my way. I'll get there one day. It's just a stupid blimp. Ow! Actually, I believe it's a Zeppelin, named after Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin, who... You're both wrong. It's the McLean Mobile Air Command Center, where I will recline in luxury while you compete in today's challenge, an aerial obstacle course. Lightning taken to the skies. Shabam! Uh-huh. And here to demonstrate, put your hands together for Total Drama Classic Contender, Heather! Oh. No way! Wow, you're THE Heather? Sorry, I have this policy of not talking to losers. Oh, I'm not a loser. You know, unless everyone else thinks I am. <laughs> Heather will now demonstrate the aerial challenge while wearing a jetpack. Just be cool. There's a parachute built into it. Oh. <laughs> Best challenge ever! Uh, this challenge seems kind of unsafe. No, it's totally unsafe. <laughs> Did I mention you'll also be attacked by flying mutant fire-breathing goats? What? <gasps> That's it! I'm out! Okay, but before you go, you should say goodbye to this! The ultimate Total Drama Prize! One million dollars! Give or take. Money. Removing all common sense and fear of danger. Too bad you'll never win it. Ow! Just watch me! If that's okay with you. <laughs> Scott really brings out the jerk in me which is kind of liberating. Besides, he voted Mike off. He needs to pay. Now, to perform your aerial feats, you'll first have to construct 
your very own flying machines. Don't worry, Bubble Boy. It may be every camper for him or herself, but I have got your back. Alliance, you and me, agreed? Um... Good! Now make my flying machine for me. And make it faster and better than yours. I am a 90-pound weakling. Okay, 89 and a half. With all the Scots and Lightnings out there, sometimes I need to stay as invisible as possible. So I'll hide behind Joe. Then when it comes time to vote people off, everyone will target the serious competition like Scott or Lightning or <laughs> Joe. Cam's a good kid. I'll carry him a few rounds and then I'll dump him. But first, Jockstrap's getting a ticket to the Hurl of Shame. He's got this silly grudge against me. Yeah, because that Joe guy kicked me right into that shark's mouth. It was tenderizing me like a T-bone. Joe's gonna pay. Hmm, man, I could really go for a T-bone right now. Anyway, I'm gonna whoop everybody else and take home that million dollars for myself. Delicious. Welcome to your one-stop shop for flying machine parts. The dump, revolting and reasonably priced. Each player will pick a card representing their mode of flight. Pick them like your nose, losers. A hot air balloon? Ugh. Could you get more frou-frou la-di-da? A helicopter? Sweet! Didn't think I'd get one till I hit the majors. A plane! Cool! And also, totally impossible to build. A rocket? Hooray! My rocketeering knowledge is both sophisticated and formidable. Huh? A bird? How am I supposed to build a bird? I want a new car. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! A bird, yep, that works. The first camper to show me their finished flying machine wins an advantage. A McLean brand smoke machine. Use it as a smoke screen. Smoke bees out of your attic or just create spooky ambience. Check it. <laughs> Sweet, right? First to finish their contraption wins that smoky bad boy. Okay, campers, prepare to get your dump on. Now! Nerdlinger, how do I make a balloon? And what do I need to make it? And by I, I mean you. Well, we'll need at least 847 square feet of silk, a heat source that can generate 7.4 cubic meters of hot air per second. Boring! Just find the stuff and build it, pencil neck. Hey, how about help me out with my helicopter? Hmm, any internal combustion engine would do. Plus a fan with blades at least 72 inches in diameter. <laughs> Shut your talk hole! Get your own nerd, muscle head. How to build a bird? Hmm, birds have feathers. <laughs> Pay dirt. <laughs> I have to build a plane. Come on, that's impossible. I mean, where am I supposed to find a cockpit? Okay, fine. But where am I supposed to find wings? Well, sure, those are awesome, but... I mean, where am I supposed to find a propeller? I'll never find a... <gasps> oh! All right already. I'll make the darn plane. Gotta find really big fan. Parachute, heat source. Hey, that's what Joe needs. Hey, Joe. Good luck finding your stuff behind this motorcycle and huge fan that would make a totally banging helicopter. <laughs> ah, yeah. Who's the smart guy now? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah! 
yeah, I'm making myself a hovercopter. Shazoom! Wow. Good work, Wonder Nerd. Thanks. Well, better find the parts to make my rocket. Or you could be a real competitor and sabotage the others. That's not very sports person like. Listen, Turbo Dork. Winning is all that matters. And you can't win unless everybody else loses, right? So go over there and accidentally tip a mountain of crud onto Captain Muscle. Eureka Squared! Ooh, and all the major components are intact. I feel some inspiration coming on. For crying out loud, how long does it take to bury someone in junk? There, that should do it. What the? What do you think you're doing? Ah! Finishes first and gets a smoke machine. Oh. What? Who will fly high? Who will crash and burn? Literally. And how many jammies will I win for this episode? Find out when we return on Total Drama Revenge of the Island. Nice work, Cameron. I've taught you well. Now, better let me hold on to that. Gotta keep it safe, or someone might try to scam it from you. No, I don't think Joe is pushing me around at all. I'd be nowhere without her. I owe all my success to her, and I'll ride my way to victory with her assured advice. Players, prepare to be challenged in the obstacle course of doom! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ace this puppy. Hope you can flap your wings as fast as your jaw. Just watch. It'll be flying high while you take a swan dive into the lake. <laughs> hey, hey, watch the feathers! Man, they really hate each other now, huh? <laughs> I feel another jammy coming on. Ah! Ah! One jammy for you, and one million for me. Ah! <laughs> oh, I think I sprained my stubble. I'm Chris. Heather's stealing your mobile air command center. Whatever. Got it at the Air Force garage sale. And my million dollars! Whatever. Not my million bucks. And all your Jemmy awards. My Jemmys? Cancel the obstacle course of doom. Your new challenge is to stop that Zeppelin! Don't try to stop me. I've got gold statuettes, and I am not afraid to use them. <laughs> I've got you, my precious. <laughs> Heather's conniving, mean, deceitful, my kind of competitor, except for those girly short shorts. Ugh. Get your flying machines airborne and shoot down that Zeppelin. Aim for the engines. Here's your ammo. Flying mutant fire breathing mountain goat eggs. Uh, goats are mammals. They don't lay eggs. They also don't breathe fire, unless they live here. <laughs> Thank you, toxic waste. Whoever takes down Heather gets immunity. Oh, and look out for the flying mutant fire-breathing mountain goats. They are super ticked for some reason. <laughs> Zoe tried to vote me off. Well, now it's her turn. Ain't nothing gonna stop the Scottmeister. <laughs> I'm going in! No! Hey! <laughs> so 
sucks to be you. <laughs> Time for lightning to get some air. Thanks for the lift. Ha <laughs> ah! Scott! Man, I'm good. Lightning going long. <laughs> Just a warm up. This time for real. Hey, that's my million, mister. Why does victory smell like bad breath? <laughs> hey, go burn someone else's balloon! Like, like hers! <laughs> you want a piece of me? Huh? You want a piece? Defense for Joe? He's playing you like a dollar store kazoo, man. Just like he did to me. <laughs> Eat smoke, bird boy. <laughs> <laughs> that smoke machine should be yours. Bubble boy, get over here and take some more shots to the head. I've got a Zeppelin to crash. Joe, crash this. I've spent enough time with Joe to know she'll take everything she can. So I planted a small explosive in my smoke machine just in case. Great choice, Chris. Hey, Bird Brain! Huh? This is for Mike! Goats, fire! Lightning's got it locked! Girl, hand it over. Oh, I'm sorry. All I wanted was the money, but this has just gone too far. Here, just take it. Ah, what is wrong with you? You're crazy. I was robbed. I deserve that money. You mean my money. Heather, heads up! Behind you! <laughs> Do you actually expect me to fall for your pathetic little diaper? <laughs> Woohoo! Score! A million bucks, finders keepers! Show wow! He's good! Uh, 
Elimination time! Cameron, you took out Heather, so you're safe. But the rest of you are on the chopping block. Regular marshmallow means you're safe. Toxic marshmallow of loserdom means you're out. And probably mutated. Zoe, <gasps> you're safe. Scott, also safe. And with two votes against, the toxic marshmallow of loserdom goes to... Joe! I deserve to win this! You traitor! You backstabber! Ah! I learned from the best! You... You know, you're right! Good technique, kid! But you, you're an idiot! You couldn't even tell I was a girl! You're what?! Any final words to your fellow competitors? In your face, Lightning! And then there were four. Who will win the million? Who'll get crushed while millions watch and laugh? Find out next time on Total Drama Revenge of the Island!